Yo, come on, come all, nothing but love, nothing but respect, you know what we do, what we don't, what we is, what we isn't, and what we is, is here today bringing you guys and girls, Boruto, Two Blue Vortex, Chapter 3, and we've got Himawari on the cover here doing some judo grappling sort of um, stances, I'm kind of excited to see Himawari actually get some fucking action in this series, so you know I'm excited, uh, the name of this chapter is Uzuhiko, which is obviously a reference to Boruto's latest move, the uh, Rasengan Uzuhiko. Um, so I'm excited to also see what the actual move does and how it plays out. But before we get into the chapter, you know what to do. You know what is appreciated. You know what is expected at this point in time. We are so close to hitting our goal of 200 subscribers. So subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for more notifications for content like this. Give the video a thumbs up and all that good stuff. But now that you have, let's get into the greatness. Um, again, Boruto, Two Blue Vortex, Chapter 3, Uzuhiku. Um, or Uzihiko, uh, and yeah, I love the yellow aesthetic here, the sunflower on Himawari, um, I just want to see her get some more action in the series. Um, so we're picking up with code, Rasengan Uzihiko. Whoa. Is it a special vanishing Rasengan? No. That one's an invisible long distance attack that's pointless unless it's a surprise. He wouldn't be approaching me openly like this. Hmm. So Code rushes in. So, okay. Code already... So Code rushes in, but then we see the swirls around Boruto. Code looks like he's about to try and use his claw marks behind Boruto. He jumps out behind them. Sweeps in. Boruto ducks down. And then he tags him. But Code blocks. But then we see the Uzuhiko energy starts swirling a little bit around uh, Code, right? Code comes in, Boruto blocks with his sword. You seem real confident about this jutsu, so it's a shame that you can't hit me with it. And Boruto just looks at him. I told you, killing you is easy. In fact, I'm already halfway there. What? Yeah, and we see more of this um, Uzuhiko energy wrapping around Code. What the? What is this thing coiling around my arm? And he pulls his arm back, hmm? So what's the big deal? I'll say this one more time. This is your last warning code. Yo, and code kind of looks shook. Yo, why? I'm loving it, but why is Boruto becoming such like... I'm the suave, badass MC now. Like, he's out of his kid phase, and I'm fucking... I'm thankful for it, I'm not gonna lie. Take me to where Ten Tails is. If you refuse, you can die here. Very funny, Boruto. You... Kill me? Go ahead and try. And we see a switch. Did he swap places with Code? Boruto's just standing there and Code's quit moving around. Code just keeps swinging at him. And Boruto's just like spinning past him? What's going on? His movements are way beyond simple dodging. Nor is it Genjutsu or Doppelgangers. This is... Yo, and while, and while Code is looking at him, Boruto just like teleports behind him and just clean clocks him in the guts. Rasengan! Uzihiko! And it just sends him packing. and we see this swirling energy wrapping up from the ground, wrapping around Boruto and then channeling through and smashing Code. We see Code screaming in pain. And it just launches him up, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, and it doesn't cover a big area. And Code just lands back. Huh. That's it? What a basic jutsu. So how is it different from a regular Rasengan? Hmm. So Boruto's the one making the ground tremble. Huh? Or rather, it's the entire Earth. This attack makes use of planetary spin. Planetary spin? I see. Nifty. I'm surprised. I didn't expect you to still be standing. Huh. So wait, is he able to like pause his rotation on the rotation of the Earth to like teleport around? Or increase his rotation? What the? What is all this spinning? Wait, so we see the swirl happening, and then Code's just falling over on his side. 
Damn it, what did you do to me? Enjoy. Think of it as being... Think of it as biting counter-attack from the planet. What you were trying to destroy. Think of it as a biting... Or biting? Biting. Counter-attack. From the planet that you were trying to destroy. From this planet? A resin gun that incorporates the planet's chakra. Its rotation. That's what Uzuhiko is. The power that is rushing through your body right now will never dissipate. Just like how a planet will never stop spinning. Yo, so he's just ripped off Johnny Joe Star's infinite rotation or the perfect rotation, right? Man's out here using the Fibonacci sequence to beat code, but he's stealing it with a little bit of sage mode by stealing the nature energy chakra and applying it to him. The damage will continue semi-permanently. Semi, because your life will run out before the planet stops spinning. You cheeky bastard. So it's just given him permanent head spins. However, there is the option of me rescinding Uzuhiko. Would you rather quietly await death or give me a ten tails and live? I think it's a choice even a fool can make. It doesn't do a lot of damage, it's just making him dizzy. And it's just making him fall over. Oh, and Kawaki comes ra like racing in here. <laughs> Kawaki. And the rest of the squad shot. Boruto! Hima? What are you doing here in Konoha, Boruto? And what were you discussing with Code? I'm trying to make a deal. Do you mind not interfering? Yeah, and Code's about to go for his claw marks, but Kawaki uh, shrinks him. Reporting, Kawaki. What's the situation? I don't know what happened, but Code's pretty drained. I also just uh, dealt with the last of the claw marks and cut off his retreat. I can probably kill him. Good. It's a golden opportunity. Make sure to finish him off. Kawaki, move away from Code. Don't provoke him. Who are you to order me around? If you showed yourself here, you must be prepared to die, Boruto. Yo, we've got one of the uh, f knock discount freezers jumping out of Code's head. Kawaki impales him, but he impales him through the claw mark, so... Okay, we actually see that it did go through, and Kawaki... Uh, sorry, Code dives through the back side of the claw mark. Almost could have just had Kawaki go through the claw mark somewhere else then. Because he hit him point blank on the chest plate. That's kind of dumb. Bastard, what is it? What's going on? Code's escaped using one of the claw grimes. Damn it! Listen, there's no guarantee he's just turned tail and run off. Annihilate the rest of the claw grimes ASAP. Yes, sir. Shikadai, you all go on ahead. Big bro, I got business with this one. Yo, wait, is that a... Oh, that's the other dude. A tree? He's turned into a tree. What What the heck? Tentails is a creature that consumes a divine tree upon devouring an Ototsuki. Maybe devouring beings is instinctual. So you're saying this is a defective divine tree because it's devouring the wrong thing? I don't know. But one thing's for certain. He isn't dead, he's still alive. Yo, that fucking sucks! It's been three years, eh? What's with that outfit? What's with your outfit? You want to cheer her adoptee now? You smack, your smack talk sure hasn't changed. But I'm glad to see Himawari looking well. Why are you here? If you've come to die at home, I'll help you. Right here, right now. Dying in Konoha doesn't sound bad, but not today. But out of this, Kawaki. You're in my way. You're the only one in anyone's way, Boruto. Hmm? Don't you think? Infiltration accomplished, Boruto. Codes returned to base. Wait, isn't that, um... Kashin Koji's toad? His spy toad? Yo, does that mean Kashin Koji's been teaching Boruto in the time skip? Ooh! Perfect sage mode, Kashin Koji, teaching him the, uh, Rosen Gun Uzuhiko? Any sign of Tentails? Hold on, not yet. Damn it, Boruto, you bastard! 
Yo, and we've got the old man lit up there. Oh, and we see one of the toads on code. Confirm, Ten Tails is there. Yo, but Ten Tails has been drained pretty significantly, and he's absolutely diced up at the moment with claw grimes or claw marks. Good. So wait, next chapter, Boruto's gonna appear in front of... Ooh. Yo, that could backfire pretty bad, though, because since Boruto has Momoshiki in him, if he appears in front of the Ten Tails, and the Ten Tails is meant to consume Otsutsuki, it may actually break out of here and go ballistic after Boruto. Mmm... Yo, this was a damn good chapter. I'm going to have to reread it a couple of times and break it down. Um, I'll probably do some, like, analysis videos over on TikTok. Just some short-form stuff. Talking about the um, Rasengan Uzuhiko. Talking about the um, Ten Tails. Stuff like that. A few of the personal interactions in that. Um, theorizing a little bit about um, what happened in the time skip for Boruto. Considering we see Kashin Koji's toad on him. It makes a lot of sense that him and Kashin kind of teamed up for a bit. Which, I wonder if it's Kashin... Kashin, Boruto, and Sasuke have teamed up in the um, in the underworld a bit. That would be a very interesting combo. Um, but that being said, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you haven't done so already, you know what to do. You know what is appreciated. You know what is expected at this point in time, right? Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for more notifications for content like this. Give the video a thumbs up. We're so close to hitting our goal of 200 subscribers, so please just, just do it. And, um, yeah, if you haven't done so already, check out the link tree in the description down below. It'll take you to things like my Twitter, my Twitch, my TikTok, and my Discord, where you can join and talk anything anime and manga related. Um, over on uh, TikTok at the moment as well, I'm trying to hit a 1,000 followers so I can multi-stream and also live stream video games over on TikTok. So be sure to check that out. And, uh, yeah, until the next episode of Boruto, or, oh, sorry, until the next chapter of Boruto, or until the next video of mine you watch, whatever it is you're here for, thank you guys and girls for coming through. Genuinely couldn't do it without you. Nothing but love, nothing but respect. Have a damn good day. Goodbye.